Hello friends, it is holiday season and I'm excited because I have been trying to get back to making videos for you guys uh, because I really do love to share. So to help me do that, please subscribe, it's free, um, it helps me keep in touch. And connect with me because Sunday the 27th we are going to be live on Facebook and YouTube and I want you guys to take part. Here's the products of what we're going to do. So, I have the cutest model ever. Her name is Abby, truly the cutest. Look at her, oh my gosh. So I start off with a little bit of red and gold on a sponge, and that's what I use for cheek colors. I like to use cheek color like this, uh, just cause for me, it kind of I can blend it how I want. This is the Teddy Bear Arty Cake, as you can tell, I use it a lot. Uh, it's great for reindeers. So start off at the temples and make teardrops, and I like to make three teardrops heading to the middle focal point. Uh, because that helps me to make, you know, kind of like balanced horn uh, antlers. Then you can make kind of like half petal strokes. Now, this is where I fit in the ears. The ears are petal strokes, so think of your flowers. Uh, then I like to use the dark color towards the inside. I drag that down to the tip of the nose and then, you know, kind of cover over the eyes. Then I use a sponge to just blend out those harsher lines and it gives you a really pretty soft blend. Look at how pretty that is. Kind of gives you that diffused look. Uh, then using the pirate red cake because that's the red I had near me, I make my little Rudolph nose and then, you know, go right inside of the ears if you want to. This is a little drop brush. It's also really good to make flowers. People think you only can make one stroke flower a certain way. Uh, but I like to use my little drop brush for basically everything. So I make these little petals and then I go back on the edges and I pull them out to give it more of a poncetta look. Poncietas, I don't know the name. And look at, oh my God, she's so cute. Then I put a little bit of gold in the middle on the nose and in the middle of the flower. This is another one of Susie's cakes. This one, I believe, is part of the Sparkle Easy Collection. You can use it to kind of make some foliage if you want, embellish that flower. This is the Fab Lux White. Oh, it's the best, so if you don't have it, add it to your kit. Look at how cute when you just add some freckles and teardrops to kind of frame the eyes. Uh, but it it's really a great white. Now this next step is totally optional for you. You don't have to outline. Uh, but if you want to, just wait till everything is dry, like your first layers, the brown especially. I like to make my little curly cues in the middle, again, optional. But I like to outline in white. I think it gives it just a softer look as opposed to sometimes black can be heavier. Now, I love lipstick. You might not. Uh, it's up to you. I spray all my brushes with brush bath in between kids, but you got to decide on your own. And look how fast and easy this design can be. Okay, this is called the World's Best Glitter. It's premiering this week at Silly Farm, guys. The reason it's called the World's Best Glitter is because it is the best glitter cream. Um, and I think you're going to love it. So, check this out. Look how fast and easy this design can be. And my little model, Abby, love this little baby. She is the cutest. So again, here are the products that I used. You know, the arty cakes and the glitter and the Fablux White. And of course, you guys subscribing means the world to me. I'm so close to 50K, so help me out, friends. Connect with me because, again, we are going to be live on this, Friday, uh, this Sunday, the 27th. And thanks for joining me. As always, shop Silly Farm and have the best holidays. Love you guys. Bye.